Jeff Patton, and I'm old. I've been building software since the 1980s. Uh, I've been in the 1990s. That's when I first did it as a profession. It was my higher job. And I've been working hard to include good user experience practice ever since I started. Now, back then, if you're old enough to remember, we didn't call it user experience. That word might have been used, but we commonly use words like user interface design, usability engineering, human-centered design, user-centered design, user research, a big soup of terms, and we confused the heck out of people. In fact, we were often our own worst enemies. We had to argue hard to get time and permission to do this stuff. And then when we did get permission, we would often disappear for weeks, sometimes months to go off and do design work. And then we would show up with a solution and say, ta-da, and you know how this works. In hindsight, good design looks obvious. And we would show up a month later with something that was good design and people would say, hey, that looks obvious. Why did we wait a month plus and spend so much money doing this stuff? In fact, in the old days, we were commonly uh, called on to do what is referred to as lip sticking the pig, making the choices that other people made look pretty. These days, design is a collaborative, inclusive process. In fact, an old friend of mine, Leah Bewley, I often repeat something she once said to me, that design isn't a product that designers produce. Design is a process that designers facilitate. And these days, I work hard to include lots of people in design. Engineers, product managers, marketing people, anyone else who will pay attention. I want to include them to observe interviews and take good notes and synthesize those notes. I want to include them in helping design solutions in practices like a design studio or what my friend Leah re used to refer to as sketchboarding. And we use processes like a design sprint where we, where we facilitate and involve everybody. What's profoundly changed about design is that it is a collaborative, inclusive practice that everyone now commonly knows we need as part of good product design.